Hello, good day everyone. This is Joe Brand. Welcome to my channel. My channel is entitled The Free Mind. If you like this channel, please do like, share, and subscribe to reach a lot of students. By the way, for today's vlog is I will be discussing our lesson number six in the subject of science, technology, and society. Yay! And I am so flattered to see all of your comments and likes and shares for this video. So this is our lesson number six entitled, When Technology and Humanity Cross. Okay, so let's talk about technology and as well as let's talk about humanity. So what will happen if we will merge technology and humanity? So let's try to, to embrace that idea for us to understand the effect of technology to humanity okay so i hope you are all excited to listen to, to this video or to okay so the ever-growing society has made people has made us see technology as a form of a necessity because we are on we are influenced by a lot of things we acquire a lot of things and really think that technology technology is the best part of us Okay, so technology comes from the Greek word techne and logos. So it means, which mean art and word. So meaning it means a discourse on arts. We are talking about here arts. We are talking about how to improve things. So that's the real meaning of technology. It comes from the Greek words techne and logos, which means a discourse on arts. However, because of the ever-growing society, because of the concept, we now have a wider range of understanding what is technology all about. So because of the ever-growing society, technology does not only mean a discourse on arts, we also included technology like machine, tools, equipment. Those are parts of technology. Right? So technology is not only limited to arts, it is on also focused with the idea of inventing some, some machines, some tools to create something. And that's the idea of technology. So take note, each person, we are really affected by technology. We are influenced by technology directly or indirectly. Okay, do you all agree with me that we are affected by technology? So what is trending, what is viral, what is going on around us? We are also influenced by, by those things. So that's how technology and humanity cross because we are affected by the things that is happening around us. Okay, even if we don't like it or not, technology is possibly uh, directly or in indirectly affecting us. Okay, so in fact, most people would say that technology plays a greater impact to their lives. They always believe that technology is a necessity. It is not a want, it is a need, it is a necessity nowadays. So that is the idea of technology and how it molded us as a person. Okay, so we can't deny that technology because of technology, because of the invention, the experimentation, we come up with this idea, with these things, right? Perfect example of technology is the, the invention of computers, laptops, right? So without the invention of those things, we will not go this far. We will not be able to use that. We will not be able to become efficient. And that is part of technology. So in short, technology, we can't deny that technology is already an in inevitable part of the society. And for me, that is true. Okay, so technology these days gives enjoyment, gives pleasure to us, right? For me, I am also enjoying the, the, the impact of technology, like I've watched YouTube, I've also watched TikTok, funny TikTok, right? So it gives me pleasure. And because of technology, it rises, it gives us a lot of impact, a positive impact. Okay, so some would say that it does not only give convenience, 
but also it gives pleasure and happiness because of technology. And I think as what you've observed now, uh, mostly teenagers, millennial generation, they are so equipped with technology because it gives a lot of benefits. It also gives a lot of services and it makes our lives very convenient because of technology. And for me, that is a fact. Okay, so, so it's, it's really impossible for us no, not to embrace technology. Okay, for example, this online learning. So how can you reach out to your students without the face-to-face -face interaction? So the only way for you to, to teach students is to embrace the idea of technology by doing something like this. But now I am teaching worldwide because it is public. So this is, this is my new trend. This is my way of embracing the idea of technology. Okay, so without those ideas, how, how could I teach my students? Without Moodle, without using Google Classroom, how could I teach my students? So let's, that's, that is the positive way of embracing technology. Okay, so at present, people are trying to save money just to buy this kind of technologies. We are saving a lot of money just to buy laptop, just to buy computer, just to buy a smartphone, just to catch up with the trend, with the technology that we are in. Okay? Compared to the investors, they are not used to that. They, they, just, they save money for, for just three main purposes, to provide food, clothing, and shelter. Okay, but now we buy a lot of technologies because we want to catch up with a lot of things. And that's how technology and humanity cross. Okay, that's how we merge the impact of technology to humanity. Okay, that's why we can't blame our youngsters, no? We can't blame them why, why, we are, why they are so attached with technologies because they are born to it, right? So they are used to it. They are so good with it. Okay, so that's, that's how we embrace the idea of technology. Okay, so technology is changing over time. And as part of the millennial generation, I am also trying to catch up with technology because it keeps on changing. Our environment is changing. Okay, so technology wouldn't be possible without the brilliance of our of mankind, without the brilliance of those people who invented this kind of technologies. And yes, it made our lives easier. It makes us very efficient. It makes us very good in in dealing with with this kind of technology and for me that's really a good thing but too much of everything is also bad right too much of everything is bad so the same problem is faced by technology even if technology gives us a lot of beneficial things but sometimes there's there are also some negative impact of technology so we will try to discuss that to discuss that one okay to to embrace ourselves what are the negative impact, the impact of technology? Aside from dealing with the positive impact, let's talk about the negative impact of technology. Because the technology also faces a lot of ethical dilemma. Okay, dilemma if they are doing the right thing or if they are doing the wrong thing. So let's try to, to classify the right and the wrong thing in dealing with our own technology. Okay, so in this discussion, we will talk about several technological advancements or devices, okay, that were properly introduced by us, even up to this day. Okay, I know you are all familiar with it. Number one is we've got television, mobile phones, computers, laptop. Okay, I know that almost all households here in the Philippines, we, are, we, we do have television, right? We catch up information, we watch TVs, uh, we, we also have mobile phones, we have smartphones just to catch up with the technologies. And some would say that having all of those things is a necessity. Okay, it becomes a necessity because of the ever-growing society. Okay, so people all over the world use these technologies just to accomplish different purposes. Like, t like television, you watch TV, TV because you want to gain information. You use your smartphones or mobile phones because you want to call someone or text someone. 
or you want to Google or search someone. So now it's very easy to catch up with people or you want to video call. It's very easy because of technology. And it, it's a good thing because you can easily talk to your loved ones. So those are the several technological devices that were implemented by to humanity to help mankind. Okay, phones. Before mobile phones, we are just using that for text, te texting or calling, but now there's a lot of services offered. We do have smartphone. We can watch TV. We do have video call or the Facebook. So we've got a lot of things because of the ever-growing society, because of the changing environment. So we really try to catch up. Okay, so those are those are the things that really that really molded us to what we are now because of the influence of a lot of things and what we see on tv or what we hear on our what we see on our mobile phones tv or anything we just we also we are also influenced by it what is trending we are also influenced by it what others are doing we're also influenced by it okay so that's how we that's how we engross ourselves to technology. And sometimes technology really becomes a part of our lives wherever we go, whatever we are doing. We can't live without our mobile phones, right? You can't, you can't live a day without using your mobile phones. It, it becomes part of us. And, and I am also guilty of that because I kept on lo looking at my phones. Even if nobody's texting me, I just want to, to, to look at it. Okay, so just trying to, to see what is trending, what is viral, so just or just to get some information. So those are the things that really molded me or that really taught me how technology influences the way I think, the way I behave, and the way I think about life. Okay, so lastly is the computer or laptops. Okay, so I do have my own laptop. And I believe you also have that one because of your online learning. Okay, so it, it is a good thing. It is very beneficial for us now. Okay, we do a lot of things. We can buy laptop anywhere. So it's, it's a good thing. Okay, so, but sometimes because of the transition, because of that transition, the changing environment, or a lot of services offered in the laptop, we, we try to, to buy a new one, a new one just to, keep us updated on what is really going on with, with our society. We are looking for, for more applications. We are looking for more, more updated laptops, right? Every now and then. So technology is a never ending process. It comes and it goes, right? So if we keep on, for me, if, if I keep on running on technology, I, I can't go after technology every now and then. Okay, so it really depends on us. Because technology, we can't stop technology. But as long as you know your limitations, as long as you know what is good for you, what is what is a necessity for you. So I think it's a good thing for you to think about it before buy, buying a lot of things because technology is a very fast-paced environment. Okay, so we can deny that we are influenced by a lot of things. Televisions, what we see on TV, mobile phones, the computer, the laptop, the people around you, we are all influenced. And those people, those things really played a greater role or the impact of our lives. Okay, people are keep on are keep on buying new things because we are so engrossed with our technology, right? Because we are so attached with so many so many things that is going on around us. And people are really influenced by a lot of things like what you see or hear on TV, what you see on Google, what you see on TikTok. So there's a lot of things happening on social media and social media platforms are all, they are all part of the ever-changing growing society. Okay, so actually the, the technology is a very good thing that we are experiencing right now. We are so equipped with that and people are trying to catch up with that. Okay, so this these are the reasons why people are so attached with technology all over the world all over the world people are using a lot of technology and 
the more you are so into technology, the more you are so equipped with understanding what is what is the best thing to do with technology, the invention, the experimentation. It's a good thing because it is the out, the the output of the brilliant mind of the brilliant mind of mankind. Okay, so let's just put some just put put some limitations when using all our technology. That's not sometimes we are influenced by it. Yes, humanity and technology. When we try to combine it all together, yes, we are influenced by it. That's why we are changing. As long as the technology is changing, we are also changing, trying to catch up with them. Okay, trying to catch up with technology and we are trying to be better and better. Okay, so there is no ending process when it comes to technology. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Okay, so I will be posting another video. This is our lesson six. So my next video blog is I'll be talking about the ethical dilemma of this technological advancement. This is a very long discussion. That's why I've decided to cut it, cut it out to two. So I will be posting lesson 6.1, the ethical dilemma of this technological advancement. Okay, so we should always put limitations to whatever technologies we, we have right now. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for subscribing. I'll see you again for my next video blog. Thank you and God bless.